this is Lance, and Lance is a Dotson, roughly about three years old. Hi. He's a little shy at first, but he came in as a stray. Hey, come here, babies. You want to come see? I got treats. You want a treat? Huh, Lance? Yeah. What a good boy. You're so gentle, aren't you? Yeah. He's a very sweet boy, aren't you? Yeah. I know. He does like to cuddle in his bed. Yesterday he came in and he had his bucket all wrapped around him and he was walking around his pen. He looked very cute. So he's definitely a snuggler and likes to stay warm in his blankets. Don't you? Yeah. What a good boy. So gentle, aren't you? There's some more. Good boy. Can you look right there. Show everybody how handsome you are. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy, that's. Everybody up there with your beautiful eyes, huh? Oh, good boy. This is Aurora. Aurora is a border collie. Oh, there's some mix in there. What a good babies. Yeah. She is actually getting adopted this week, but couldn't help but film her because she's such a beautiful girl. She's about three years old. Yeah, border collies are very popular dogs. They're usually very easy tempered dogs. Along with most dogs. Yeah. Which she does. Can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, good sit. He even lifted a paw up, huh? Can you shake? Can you shake? Oh, yes, that was good. That was a high five, huh? Good job, sweeties. So we're just filming her to show that we do have beautiful dogs in here. We get all kinds of dogs in here. But she is getting adopted on Wednesday, on the 29th. Yeah, good girls. We'll see you later. We're going to a beautiful home. This is Chica. Chica's gonna be the dog of the week this week. This little one is what we call a chia palm, or some people say pomachi, which is a Pomeranian and a Chihuahua mix. Long hair. And her name is Chica. And Chica's been with us a couple weeks. Yeah. And she is a ball of energy, so we're guesstimating at probably around two years old. So she's a youngster. And Chihuahuas usually have bursts of energy throughout the day. They're a very active breed. Uh, good thing is, in our lovely climate, that we can actually exercise them indoors. You don't have to necessarily take them walking. You can run around the house with them inside. But as you can tell, she's got a lot of young spirit in her. She's a very active girl. She likes to be on your lap, cuddling, but also running around the house at the same time. So she's got some mixed mixed emotions of what she wants to do at this point. A lot of people think they can't train a small dog, but you can definitely train a small dog. And she definitely needs some training. She, uh, her mind's going a thousand miles a minute. So if you have a backyard that's secure, you definitely want to check it out again, because she is a small little girl. She can squeeze right through a gate pretty easy. This little girl's name is Ninja. She's a two-year-old Chihuahua. Yeah. And she's got super long legs. 
And of course, beautiful ears. Yeah, you hear that doggy barking, don't you? Yeah. Can you show everybody how cute your ears are when they stand up? Got that? I know that doggy's making you nervous, huh? Yeah. So she's a little on the shy side when you come up to meet her. So you just got to be patient. Give her time to warm up to you. It's best to take her in a quiet room or meet and greet room. Get to know her a little bit. Yeah, that's a good girls. Yeah. But um, we have a co-worker that she's so used to. She jumps in her lap and gives her all kinds of loving and kissing. She will come up to me, but she's not quite jumping in my lap yet. But she has come a long way. Being a shy little dog. Yeah. She'll make a nice cuddler once she gets to know you. Huh, yeah, can you wiggle that down? And she does a little nervous smile, too. So she's quite the smiler. It's pretty cute. Yeah, is that good stuff? Yeah, can you look right here? Oh, these doggies are scaring you, aren't they? I know. Okay, this little girl's name is Sophie. And Sophie is about five years old, and she's an American Pit Bull Terrier. Huh, Sophie? Yeah. She's been with us for a little while. Looks like since uh, the 20th of July. So almost a month now. Can you look right there? So we have her as older kids only, like 13 and up. No cats, no other dogs. Uh, we did do a dog test with her and she did okay um, she just didn't back down but she held her ground and just warned the other dogs to stay out of her little bubble and that's kind of why we're saying no dogs it's not that she's terrible with them it's just she wants her own space she'd prefer a house with no dogs but she does great walking don't you yeah you pull a little bit but it's because you're excited to get outside Can you look right there Sophie yeah can you speak? Yeah. Oh, don't go speak. Yeah. Huh? She likes lots of lovings. You do a sit really nice too, don't you? Can you speak? Speak? Oh, good speak. Yeah. And you like your treats, don't you? Good girls. You're just following that treat around, aren't you? She's a very loving girl, aren't you? Yeah. What? Are you barking? Yeah. Look right there. Yeah, right yeah. And you do have big, beautiful ears. They stick straight up. But in here, you're a little more concerned. When you're outside, they're sticking straight up in there. Yeah. They almost look like a chihuahua ear. Just a little larger. Yeah. Hey, Sophie. Yeah, good girls. So if you want a gentle, loving, little bigger dog, she's probably about 55, 60 pounds. She'd be a good match, because she's quite a little lover, aren't you? Oh, there's those ears. There's yeah. those ears. Good girl. All right, Sophie, we'll see you later. Sunny. Sunny is three years old and she is already spayed and she came into the shelter as a stray. That's what it looks like on August 14th so she hasn't been here too long. Where are you going? Sunny. Come here, Sunny. Hey, sit. Oh, you're such a good sitter. Yeah, good sit. So we have her in as a German Shepherd mix. Um, looking at her ears, maybe a little sharp hay in there. And she's got some curly hair behind her neck there. So she's got she got some different breeds in her there. 
Shepherd stands out the most, so we're calling her German Shepherd mix. Yeah. Yeah, that's my finger. Yes, I know. Yes. Is that piece too big? Was that a big piece? Good set. What a good girl. Yeah. Can you shake? Can you shake? Oh, good shake. Good shake. I think you know down too, don't you? Down? Good down. Someone's worked with you, huh? Sunny, right here. There you go. What a good girl. So she warmed up to us pretty quick in the shelter. She was a little shy at first, the first day or two, but after that, she's been very loving and outgoing. And happy, waggy tail. Yeah. I know. That was a good down, babies. Can't come back up? Sunny, up, up. Oh, good set. Yeah, someone's definitely worked with you, huh? Right here? Yeah. Good girls. All right, Sonny, we'll see you later. Yeah. Okay, this little girl came into us as a stray. She's not quite on the adoption floor yet. And she's an Australian Shepherd, about eight years old. And she came in from Malala area. So if you know anybody that's missing, Australian Shepherd, please let them know to check our website or come in and take a look. She seems to be a very sweet girl. A little on the other side. Sit. Can you sit? No, you don't know sit, huh? So she got a little bit of tan mixed in there. You can see a little bit around her eyes, but there's more on the legs. Otherwise, it's just black and white. Look at that girl. Yeah, I know. What do you think, huh? Her owner's out there somewhere, huh? Yeah. But she seems to be a very nice girl. From what we've seen so far. Yeah. She does have one erect ear and one down. Oh, it was a good set for a second. I wasn't quick enough. Yeah. You like those treats, don't you? Can you sit? 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 There's a sit. Good girl. This one came in to us as a stray, and we have started calling it Abe, and Abe is not quite on the adoption floor. And Abe is a Labradoodle, about two years old. Yeah, you want that? And pretty much has been an outside dog its entire life. Um, we shaved, it, shaved him down immediately when he came in because he had mats down to his skin. That's why he's all shaved down, and he's feeling much better. But pretty much has not had any training. I'm working on the sit, huh? Yeah, you're kind of learning that. He can sit. But because he has not had any training, he's um, going to the bathroom inside on his blankets, that kind of stuff. He's probably pretty much in the backyard with a guest event anyway. Um, we're probably going to look to rescue for him. Yeah, because he is very mouthy. He's two years old, but he kind of acts like he's two months old. He doesn't, doesn't know that he shouldn't be mouthing on your hand. But it's getting a little bit better. Takes lots of time, practice, patience. Yeah, we're taking the treats nicely. You sit, you sit, you sit. No. Good boy. You sit? You sit? You just don't know it, do ya? Yeah. Good boy. So he is looking better and feeling better without all the matted hair on him. But a labradoodle, you definitely gotta have him clean. About every six to eight weeks. And he's a high energy dog. You gonna sit? You sit? You sit? 
so close. These two little ones came in together and the owner had to go into our nursing home and she couldn't take them with. So we ended up with them. They're a little on the shy side, but the tan and white one here, his name is Kibble. And Kibble, he is about 11 years old. Yeah, and he's coming out of his shell. He's actually coming up to the gate now. Now Sarah, Sarah is the other one, and she is the same age, 11 years old, and they're both Chihuahua short hairs, but she's a little on the shyer side. You do like the treats though, huh? Yeah. So at this point, they're not on the adoption floor. We're still trying to work with them, trying to get them over their shyness. Yes, I know, it's so scary, all this loud barking, huh? I know. Sarah. So we're not, they're pretty bonded. We're not sure if they're going to go out together at this point um, or if we're going to work on getting them to a rescue possibly that could get them out into a home together. I know. You want some more. Is that what you're telling me? Huh, Kibbles? Yeah? Kibbles, you need to go on a little bit of a diet though, don't you? I don't want to give you too much. Same with you, huh, Sarah? Yeah. But they're very sweet. Chihuahuas do have a long life, so loving's not bad in the years. I mean, we've had people that have had chihuahuas for, you know, 15 to 18 years, so smaller dogs definitely live longer than the bigger dogs. Yeah, I know. You like that, don't you? Is that how I can win you over with some treats, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got a happy, waggy tail, don't you? Here, sir. Good stuff. So no, still not quite on the adoption floor. Trying to get them more used to it. Yeah. Haven't even been with us quite a week yet. Like that. Oh, yummies. Good stuff, huh? This big guy's name is Hank. Hey, Hank. And he is an English Mastiff. And he is 11 years old. Yes, anybody that knows the large breeds going 11 years old, that's fantastic. Because generally, their age expectancy is between 8 and 10 years old. So he's already outlived that. Yeah. He did come into us with some skin issues, which we have taken care of a lot of them. He's feeling a lot better, but he's got a ways to go still. Yeah. Hey, big guy. He's a very sweet guy. He's fogging up the glass there. Yeah. And uh, we got him on some pain management because his back hips, as you can tell, are a little bit weak. And he's gotten quite a bit back in his stride since he's been in our care. He's not quite on the adoptable page yet. We're still working on his health at this point. Seeing how he's going to do. Yeah. So, being that he's 11 years old, if someone is interested, um, it's basically his retirement home because uh, he's already lived past his life expectancy. So it's hard to tell how long he's going to live. But as you can tell, he's a pretty happy guy still. And... Doing nice for that age, for sure. Yeah, I know. You got some good genes, don't you, Hank? Yeah. So we'll see if maybe he's going to a rescue or he might possibly go up on our adoption floor. It's still kind of up in the air at this point. What you got? Did you drop one? Yeah. Hank. Yeah, I got more. There you go. Yeah. You can tell he takes treats nice and gently. 
Bigger dogs have the big jowls, so you know, there's a little bit of slobber there. But if you're a big dog lover, you don't mind that. Yeah. Hi. What a good boy. Yeah. What a good boy. All right, Hank. We'll see you later. We'll see you later.